check when we gonna get the best. Now my eyes, you look Okay, so basically I'm gonna be showing you how to do the chromatic aberration effect from After Effects and Sony Vegas. Um, you can get this effect straight from DaVinci Resolve, but you have to pay for the full version. So I'm gonna show uh, you how to do it in the free version with Sapphire plugins. And the link to the Sapphire plugins will be down in the description. Make sure you uh, download those first before you proceed with this tutorial. If you like the video, subscribe. Yeah. Alright, so first of all, I'm just gonna get my clip ready, um, and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so now that we have the clip ready, uh, I marked this, but basically we're gonna wanna split it where you want the chromatic aberration effect to start, so that's just gonna be uh, right here for me. And we're gonna go into Fusion. Now, if you've downloaded the Sapphire FX, just uh, commit, just control space to open up the select tool menu, and then type in S underscore shake. Press add or enter. And for me, it took a little while there because um, I'm recording. Um, so basically, we're gonna wanna uh, put, go here for channels and then put the red amplitude basically up to about one point. Well, it's your decision. So let me put it up about to that 1.22. Um, and then what you're wanna, gonna wanna do is just take out every other option. So we're gonna take out the tilt shake, all of it. We're gonna take out the Z shake, all of it. We're gonna take out the Y shake. We actually can't take away um, this option because otherwise it will mess up the chromatic um, aberration effect. So we're just gonna put everything to zero or as little as possible. X shake, X shake, same thing. So right now we only have the red amplitude up a slight amount and then the Y shake um, amplitude basically um, to its default setting which is 0 0.05 and then from uh, from here what you're going to want to do is drag down the frequency, drag down the phase, drag, leave the C disk, Z, Z disk, um, drag down the motion blur length and that's basically it so if we play it back we can play it back in here I'm going to play it back in here, wait for it to render a little bit. You can see that this chromatic aberration effect will follow the entire video. Uh, thanks for watching, that was a short one, we'll see you.